This is John Wheeler on a hill called the Roaches on the west side of the Pennines. I'm looking at a rock showing a thing called cross bedding. You can see some layers going to the right and some layers going to the left. And this is a fine example of cross bedding. And what it tells us is that this coarse sandstone was deposited in a flow almost certainly in underwater and the flow is going to the left and what you're looking at are things that were once dunes not not sand dunes formed in the desert sand dunes formed underwater but the things dipping down to the left there were at the front of the dunes and sand was cascading down so the cross bedding is showing us that the current was flowing north. But what's good about this outcrop is we can look at it in three dimensions and we always learn more by looking in three dimensions. Look at the angle we're looking at there, an angle of about 30 degrees or something like that. So let's walk round the corner and let's look at this face in full sun. Now you can see that there are layers of angles to each other there but it's really only maybe 10 or 15 degrees and the reason is simple it's the beds are both three-dimensional things and so that the angle that they appear to be to each other depends on the way you're looking at it so if we stand back here you can actually see both faces the faces are at right angles and this is a lesson that we should look in three dimensions at everything we see. But it's fairly clear, I think, that the current direction was roughly north. And what's interesting about that is that these beds were deposited in part by a huge river coming from the north so the current should be going to the south but this outcrop hasn't read that book and the chances are that there was a large complicated delta and deltas often develop channels going in different directions they splay out like geckos feet if you look at a map of the Mississippi Delta so what we would need to understand that story better we need to look at some more cross bedding in other parts of Derbyshire.